Hello YouTube, it's me, Lance of Destiny SFX, and today I have a, another rehaul. And this is actually the same 1978 copy that I got in my previous video. I did a paint up on it, and I changed out the hair. This is a really great sculpt. I, the paint and hair that you get from the factory just does it so dirty. <laughs> it's not the most accurate sculpt out there, but for those who really like the castle stretch look and the balcony scene and the stairway scene, then this mask is perfect, especially if you have a larger head. This makes me look like a bobblehead, so I'm gonna have to have someone model it for me before I ship it out to the client, but those details aside, let's get into how this is painted up. I decided to do more of a midway between H2 and H1, so as you can probably see because of the lighting that I have, the thin, the, the white paint layer is pretty thin compared to the other masks that I've done. There's a little bit more neck weathering all the way around than I would typically do for an H1 mask. The ears and glue lines are more pronounced. I actually used chalk pastels, experimenting with the shading and dirty patches in the mask and since they blended out so well, I think I might use them more. It just made pretty authentic looking shadows. I still had to dry brush on the lips a little bit since the pastels weren't sticking very well. But I'm not mad at all. It's a great looking result. and the hair. I got a recommendation of a new hair fiber from a friend of mine that also makes Myers masks. And this hair fiber is perfect for Myers masks because it has this shine that even after being dyed, this shine looks like a vintage Kirk. The blonde the blonde dye shines through the black overspray and it spikes really well. It's just perfect. I'm excited to use this fiber in more future projects because it like pulls the thing all together and I sprayed it over a couple times with hairspray but there's still like little wispies that pull through just like the original mask and behind the scenes pictures in particular you can find that the hair had a lot of wispies and they weren't even purposely styling it that way it was just how it kept on happening let's turn on flash why not so you can really see the blonde poking through. Well, that's there. You can really see the texture and the spikiness of it all. The ear. That's pretty much it. That's all I have to say, anyways.